human rights institutions in situations of post-conflict are particularly important for peace-building activities, but also for uh, improving of the human rights protection for uh, citizens after the conflict. Uh, what is uh, what was happening in Serbian context was that uh, the, the Ombudsperson's office was uh, very active in uh, supporting and providing uh, protection for Roma affected by the conflict. So displaced Roma. Uh, this was done by different uh, activities. Uh, some of these activities were uh, purely monitoring activities that were, uh, that were uh, um, conducted by the Ombudsperson, but also there are others as, as uh, the activities that, uh, where the Ombudsperson is actually dealing with individual complaints uh, submitted by, by citizens or civil society organizations. And also, uh, what was particularly important in our context was that the Ombudsperson was uh, supporting uh, different pledges for uh, improvement of the situation of legally visible Roma, so Roma without documents that were affected by the, uh, the conflict and uh, that fled uh, to Serbia uh, by, um, in, uh, by uh, initiating uh, different legislative procedures and different uh, procedures actually for the amendments of the existing legal framework. By doing so, the Ombudsperson uh, managed to, um, if we can say so, persuade the, 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 the executive uh, the ministries that were uh, important for this, uh, for this issue to actually improve the legal framework and actually to provide uh, to, to provide uh, uh, space for legal and visible Roma to uh, finally access their personal documents. Also, the national human rights institutions in, in the situation of post-conflict are important for protection of economic and social rights or so-called issues relevant for the integration of uh, displaced uh, population or refugees. So if you look into the uh, all this set of uh, rights that are uh, considered as uh, rights important for integration. These are all rights that are economic and social rights, so housing, healthcare, employment, uh, social protection, and uh, education. In that regard, uh, national human rights institutions are important to support the governments, uh, to uh, control how the governments are uh, uh, protecting and promoting uh, economic and social rights of most vulnerable population but also to uh, address human rights issues and to uh, seek accountability in those cases where uh, there was a clear case of uh, human rights violation. In addition to economic and social rights and their better protection in the situation of post-conflict and conflict uh, societies, uh, what is particularly important is that national human rights institutions can provide uh, additional support to those that are in most need of uh, human rights protection. So, for example, in our uh, example in Serbia, we had uh, specific activities that were uh, supported by uh, the National Human Rights Institution, uh, namely the Ombudsperson of Serbia, and actually specific uh, monitoring activities that were uh, dealing with uh, the, that were assessing how the government uh, provides uh, and protects uh, economic and social rights and rights of those that are uh, left behind. Uh, for example, uh, some of the most uh, vulnerable groups in, in Serbia were, uh, are still uh, displaced Roma and uh, refugees from former Yugoslavia. In both of these, uh, for both of these groups, national human rights institution, uh, the Ombudsperson of Serbia uh, had a number of uh, different uh, initiatives and activities that uh, resulted with uh, better protection of their rights. Some of, some of these initiatives uh, were dealing with uh, access to personal documents for Roma displaced from Kosovo, so-called uh, little invisible Roma, where the Ombudsperson's role was to, um, to provide advisory and advisory support to the executive government in order to uh, finally close the gap uh, between uh, Roma without documents and the rest of the population. And also in this, in this regard, the Ombudsperson was providing uh, specific uh, initiatives for legislative uh, changes, but also uh, the Ombudsperson was dealing with uh, individual complaints where uh, individuals that were uh, experiencing this problem uh, addressed this institution. In, uh, if we uh, took into account that the Ombudsperson is, uh, uh, by its nature, uh, this institution is uh, more human rights friendly, if we can say so, than uh, general uh, government, then you can see it more flexible in that way. 
uh, we can see that actually there is more space for people coming from vulnerable group, groups and those that are uh, multiply uh, discriminated to uh, uh, let's say solve their problems that are related to economic and social rights or human rights in general. In addition to this example uh, with uh, Legal Invisible Roma, uh, the ombudsperson was also uh, included in the monitoring activities for the National Strategy for Roma Inclusion in Serbia, which had a uh, big uh, uh, a number of activities that were uh, dealing with uh, the situation of displaced Roma, their access to economic and social rights. And also in the uh, last, uh, uh, last couple of months, the ombudsperson was uh, was uh, also dealing with the situation of refugees uh, that are on, on, on the Balkan route, uh, uh, coming from other conflict areas, and uh, where the person was actually giving the support to uh, civil society organizations, pledges for better protection of, of the rights of, of migrants, but also uh, through the National Preventive Mechanism Against Torture, that the, the ombudsperson was uh, able to identify uh, specific problems. Uh, Human rights violations and to uh, ask for the accountability of the government officials that are involved in these incidents. There are different opportunities for national human rights institutions to cooperate with the civil society organization in promotion and protection of economic and social rights, but also other human rights in the context of post conflict societies. Uh, for example, uh, our experiences are. Um, we, had, we had experiences with uh, joint uh, field visits and joint research about the uh, implementation of national uh, strategy for Roma inclusion. Uh, this was done in uh, 2019 when uh, the 11 initiative for economic and social rights together with the ombudsperson uh, visited a number of different local self-governments and uh, different Roma communities in order to uh, understand how the national strategy for Roma inclusion and its action plan for the implementation of this document are working to better the world, uh, the, 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 the lives of, of Roma communities in, in, in Serbia. Uh, this was, uh, this was uh, the big initiative that was, that was uh, brought together by uh, the National Human Rights Institution, in our case the Ombudsperson's Office and also our, our organization uh, and it resulted with a, with a report that uh, uh, managed to flag up all the problems and challenges that uh, Serbia is facing in relation to uh, support, uh, in relation to uh, social inclusion from uh, uh, in its society, but also it gave uh, concrete uh, recommendations and steps for the government to, in order to improve this situation. This is, uh, this is just one of the activities, uh, other activities are also related to joint uh, field visits to different, uh, again, informal Roma settlements and uh, reception centers for migrants, uh, where we uh, conducted joint field visits during the state of emergency Serbia in order to, to understand how the government is dealing with, uh, with its human rights obligations and the ways how uh, the situation could be um, uh, uh, could be improved. You know, in, uh, this was particularly important because uh, during the state of emergency, the judiciary in Serbia was uh, almost non, uh, not, almost completely not operating because it uh, it, it dealt only with a with a uh, with a handful of uh, of uh, cases related to urgent procedures for family in, in cases of uh, 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 domestic violence and and, and some other uh, very. Um, specific cases. So generally uh, citizens in Serbia did not have the opportunity to protect their rights during the state of emergency and uh, this joint visit, uh, joint activities and initiatives with the uh, Ombudsperson's office uh, managed to uh, at least uh, support those communities that we managed to, 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 uh, to uh, visit and to, to address uh, who uh, managed to address the problems uh, to this situation when we uh, all had to switch from our regular activities to this online world uh, due to the uh, coronavirus pandemic. Uh, I believe that the, the online tool uh, as such could provide uh, much needed space for discussion, for continuation of our discussions about different ways how we can uh, improve uh, the protection of economic and social rights but also other human rights as well. Uh, in, in addition to that, uh, this tool could provide um, uh, 
discussion room, if, 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 if we can say so, uh, for different institutions, not just uh, different national human rights institutions, but also different civil society organizations and other uh, relevant actors to uh, explore possibilities and to learn from each other about uh, the methodologies, techniques and the ways how uh, we, are, how, uh, we uh, adjust to this new uh, normality as it is uh, in this online world.